We are joined here today by University of Tulsa football royalty as we catch up with some guys from the 2016 Miami Beach Bowl champion team. And we're joined by Dane Evans, the all-time leading passer in TU history, James Flanders, the single season rushing record holder for TU, the all-time leading rusher in TU history, D'Angelo Brewer, and also Keevan Lucas, who's on the top five list in receiving, and probably if he had one more healthy year, would have been the all-time <laughs> leading receiver at TU. And also we have Josh Atkinson, a thousand-yard receiver for the University of Tulsa in that 2016 season. Gentlemen, thank you so much for catching up with us and being with us here today. And first of all, we want to ask you, what did it mean to set an NCAA record, set a college football record, with a 3,000-yard passer, two 1,000-yard rushers, 1,000-yard receivers. And, Dane, we'll start with you. Oh, oh great. Um, <laughs> to me, honestly, it meant it kind of was something that I didn't even know we were doing until, like, the last two games. And then um, once I realized that we had a chance to do it, it kind of solidified to me that we were truly, like, unstoppable that year because – it was what we always talked about. If they want to take away the run, we'll just throw it over their heads. And if they want to back off and take away our receivers, then we'll just run it. And so when, when you have that type of control over the game, it's really tough on a defense. And to me, it felt like that year we were really tough to defend. Like there was no good way to defend us. It was kind of like, well, I hope we just get the ball last because we might be able to outscore you, but we're not be able to stop you type thing. James Flanders, 1,600 yards <laughs> rushing. What was it like for you to be on that record book? I mean, it's a great honor to be on the record, but because you can always go back, even when you get older, when you're 40 and 50 or something like that, and tell your kids that you're in the Hall of Fame. Also, like, because I'm coaching right now, I tell my students that uh, I'm in the Hall of Fame, too. They don't really believe it. I said, go look it up. So that's a great honor. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a great honor to do that and be a part of that. D. Brew, what do you think? <clears throat> hey, man, I mean, yeah, like, just like Flynn said, you know, dang, man, it's a blessing. I mean, Kind of like with Dane, I really didn't pay attention to it too much. Like, I knew we were having a great season. You know, Josh and Keevan was doing their thing. You know, me and Flanders, we always tried to have that connection and, you know, stay on top of each other. Just, you know, every game. So we knew what we were doing. But honestly, man, I think, you know, I think one of the biggest things about that season is just we just kind of fell in love with the grind and, you know, ain't really think about too much. We just kind of let our work speak for ourselves. And, you know, we put all the money in the bank during the offseason just kind of let it bleed through every game, every situation, you know, up and down. You know, we just kind of stayed together. That was key for it, man. So, you know, it's all the hard work, you know, you put in, you know, you, you get something out of it. So, you know, you, it always feels good. Even? Oh, yeah, man. It, like Just like everybody else said, I, I didn't realize it. I mean, it was – to be honest, that was probably like the best team, overall team that I've been a part of because, I mean, we – but like the camaraderie that we had was just amazing. I mean, I remember when uh, the little Apple games came on your phone. I mean, the whole team was playing with each other from the coaches to the, uh, the offense versus defense. Like, it was just a big, a big deal. So I feel like just us having fun, that was the key thing, you know, being able to just to have fun with the brothers. And of course, I mean, we put in so much work. Uh, me coming off an injury that, that previous year, and uh, I remember me and Dane and Josh. <laughs> Putting so much work in the off season, um, just trying to get better and trying to trying to get that connection good. So, I mean, to be able to come to the season and be down what thirty one to zero against Fresno State and come mm. back, come back and, and come back from that game like that game right there, let me know like man, we're different. Right now. Like, we're, we're, we don't have we really don't need to be worried about okay, man, we're down. Like man, I remember we was on the sideline and Dane just came by and was like, hey man, we're good, we're good, we're good. We never missed a beat, you know, and so after that, I feel like it was just the sky was the limit. So to actually accomplish that, man, that was amazing. So, Josh, what did it mean for you to be part of this group of five? Uh, it means the world to me. You know, these are my brothers for life. Uh, you know, especially coming into the season it's off the off the 2015 year, um, and just knowing that we had something special, we just had to approach the game in a way that, you know, produce victories and, uh, and set the tone for the rest of the season. So, <clears throat> like they already said, the work that we did in the off season, uh, the work that we put in different uh, – during the season, we just approached the game differently. Uh, you know, film sessions, whatever it may have been, uh, you know, we just had a different mindset going into that year and knew that we could do something special. Um, 
but you know to say that that we'd be sitting here today talking about being in the college football hall of fame you know that all of that in, in in its own is just a blessing for god and i'm just thankful and honored honestly humbled to be a part of the group uh, Josh, you were the only guy that hadn't reached that level, if you will. Uh, Dane had already reached 3,000 yards. Uh, Brew and James Flanders already had 1,000 yards rushing. <clears throat> Keevan already over 1,000. And you go into the bowl game, you're 73 yards shy of 1,000 yards. And I'll ask you first, it appeared in that first drive with a 17-play, 93-yard drive in the bowl game that they were looking for you a little bit, weren't they? Yeah, I mean, you know, the the cookie fell where it where it fell. At, and, you know, they left me open. So you know, Dan being a great quarterback, he he was. He found me, kept giving me the ball. It's actually the most tired I've ever been in playing football in my whole career. Uh, I actually got grass in my eye. And one time, Dane threw me the ball, and I just didn't. I put my hands up, and he just kind of handed it to me. So, no, nah, it was all good. It all worked out. I came to the sidelines, and I was like, but those somebody else. All right. <laughs> Dane, Dane, on that first drive, uh, you know, it was 17 plays. It was 93 yards, and I think Josh had six catches. None of the gains were anything more than eight or nine yards. What was going on in your mind during that drive? Yeah, uh, well, I knew that he was really close coming into the game, and they kind of like what he was talking about. They were kind of doubling Keevan and keeping the box really heavy. So when they're doing that, they're leaving somebody open, and uh, it just happened to be Josh. And uh, I know he was tired of catching the ball after the third or fourth one, but when you're the quarterback, uh, you got to throw it to the open guy. And, uh, you know, he was there to make the play. But what I do remember is coming off the sideline after he caught that touchdown, and I thought to myself, kind of personally, I was like, damn, if every drive is that long, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to play this game. <laughs> and uh, luckily, luckily, we started doing what we normally do and just scoring in a couple of plays. But, uh, man, it was fun. And, and to me, that drive was really special because, like, all these guys here know it, but the Central Michigan who we were playing, they were talking a lot of smack that week. And for us Boy. to get the ball backed up and them talk about all we can do is score in one play and for us to go on a 17-play drive, that was kind of like, to me, that was like my favorite drive of the whole game. And, uh, you know, then we just kind of rolled through that. <laughs> yeah, and, and as as you went on in the game, midway through the second quarter, there was a point where Josh actually got over 1,000. Did you guys know that? Did you keep track of the numbers to see if you'd made that record? Uh, for me, I didn't know that. Uh, I was just, just regularly going in, playing like another game, like a championship game, so I really didn't know. I, 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 yeah, I, don't, I don't think I knew either. I, I really don't think I knew either. Like, I think it kind of, uh, like, once you pass it on the sideline, I think people start saying it, so I knew. But I, I ain't had no clue at all. I think going into that drive, because uh, I think there were multiple numbers that, that we were close to. And then I I know Keevan was close. Or I think he tied Coach Bitson on the touchdown record. And so I know we were keeping track of that stat, too. And then, so I think going into that drive and just like a couple of times here and there, we were, I know Keevan and I at least, we were over there <laughs> stat checking yeah, like, a little bit. Because uh, yeah, like, yeah, it, it, got, I mean, it got to the point to where, I know, I mean, and like Dane said, they came up and they were like, you know, all they had to do was line up. And so we were <laughs> pretty heated. So we were trying to beat them as much as possible. So we were stat checking and seeing if we could do more, telling Coach to give us the ball and all that. So, we we might have had a little a little known about it, a little whereabouts. So. Nah, for sure. Because I, I remember they uh, took us out the game. We were we were kind of upset. Like, man, we ain't trying to come. Out. <laughs> <laughs> late late in that game, uh, Keevan, you caught a touchdown pass, and I don't even know what the score was at that point forty or fifty or something to three, and you shook your head like, "Can't stop me," or "This is too easy." What were you thinking? Um, exactly like what Josh and him said. I mean, dang, uh, all week, man, those guys were just saying, like, all they had to do is line up, um, that that pretty much they were going to put the clampers down on us, you know, and we kind of just went in that game with a chip on our shoulder because we felt like we kind of got snubbed through the season um, with some of the games that we played, you know. Um, and so with that game, we were just kind of come out there. We was out, set out to prove something, you know. Um, so with them kind of having that <laughs> – those notions and those just those comments and just being able to see them like that. I mean, we just had a chip on our shoulder, man. So when we was in the game, I feel like we just had fun. And then to, like Dane said, to go 16, 17 plays, 
you know, and then just to really just do what we want at will. I remember one time Flanders trucked the dude and was picking him up, running, running backwards. Like, it was crazy. So it was like, man, we're just doing whatever we wanted to do, you know, and, and, and then for them to just say, just line up. We're like, man, yeah, look, this is too easy, man. Like, next. I remember even Jesse Brubaker, like Jesse caught an interception and Tom did with one hand still. Hey, so ready, yeah. <laughs> like, come on now, like it was just so much that was going on out there from a whole total team standpoint that yeah, it was just like, hey, too easy, man. 